but um, it's mainly a question of my my body fitness. So I'm really working hard on on uh, keeping my good physical level to can play at that level what I what I can really play, you know, on that world class level. And uh, this is actually the hardest uh, part of the motivation, you know, <laughs> to motivate you to really make physical fitness and. Uh, um, yeah, you had some injuries also recently, some months ago. Yes, but this is uh, this brings me back to the topic of the Werner Schlager Academy because uh, my way was a typical, uh, typical um, hobby hobby way, you know, like a hobby player going on and somehow making it to be a world world champion, you know. But uh, so um, I I I could manage to be world champion out of a not perfect system, and I had to learn also many many things you know and uh, one of these things is to be very uh, focused on your body as early as possible because table tennis you play on only one side with the upper part of the body it's uh, very uh, power consuming for your back you know you have to do exercises for the left side you know and this you cannot start too early this is something what I did learn uh, actually much too late yeah. you know I can, so, I, can um, I have the same opinion I have also big problems and with my back and so on so it's and this true. is something what you cannot uh, uh, you cannot be too late in teaching the the players you know this is very important and, and, and you have to focus on that really you have to focus on it I know that uh, it's not so easy you know to get the concentration on on that topic because I was also young and I was also 15 to 18 and at that time you know everything is uh, better than making physical things you know this is for sure contra top spin all the day <laughs> yes and yes, we yes. enjoy uh, loops you know loops from five uh, meters behind the, the table but this is not table tennis you know this is only very small part of table tennis so you have to focus on the important things, on the important aspects of being uh, then later on really a good table tennis player. Yeah, and besides this physical preparation, which you cannot start early enough, it's also very important, the service and the return, but it's also not technical uh, sometimes skills, yes. technical things, and especially service and return, it's sometimes very boring to practice this. Uh, actually, <laughs> what is your opinion about? Actually, I think that especially the technical things uh, for me were never boring because it's always different. You know, service is always a little bit different. There's always a change, and so you always have to adapt and you have to always to to, to be very focused. And this is uh, also one very important thing in being a good table tennis player that you have to focus on your. Uh, possibility of concentration you know really you have to train that and you can train that with a mental coach on uh, your possibility of concentration and and your focus to be focused on the important things and not on the things you know like many well-known players you know focus on the spectators or focus on the light or something you know you have to focus on the on the important part and this is also something what I'm not uh, uh, let's say free of guilt you know I I not so many years uh, ago I had also my still my problems in in dealing with uh, le let's say like wind in the hall or something like that but this something the flatness of the table yeah, flatness and so of the table which which is crucial to um, having a good table tennis there but um, actually sometimes it's more important to focus on the good things than on the negative things. Yeah, be positive. <laughs> Not Think only positive. sometimes, you know, most of the day normally. I raise this question about service and receive because this is also a part beside the physical standard when we, when we Europeans are quite behind the Asian players and the Chinese players and it's fantastic if European players can play the tense backhand or forehand topspin but sometimes they cannot come to this point because yes, the opponent yes, wins yes. already the yeah. rally very early and will you focus in your uh, table tennis academy also especially on this part yeah sure because uh, it's also one one, um, one of the very important topics that you focus on practicing for the game you know practice for competition and not practice for practice you know this is also very uh, important that uh, in practice you really try to get um, 
uh, get a system for yourself, a system in playing table tennis. Not just play and hope that you get a chance, you know. You have to find a way for yourself to make it, to bring yourself a chance, you know, that you can really then finish the, the ball, you know. When I watch here, then I see very often that the players, they don't have a system, they just play on, they don't think about what kind of service they would like to play, they just play and somehow they have like uh, a run and they and they and they make five points but then they make five mistakes and nobody knows why. And we are back again in the training trainers and coaches yes, question course, because nobody course. was born with this of course to know it how to focus. This is a task of a good coach to teach it during practice sessions and during many hours of training. By the way yes. we have the question how many hours do you train a day nowadays? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can, if I can uh, uh, state this publicly, but now I'm, uh, I practice very, very little. I practice um, once a week, uh, about 90 minutes. But this is because uh, now is the time where we are all on holidays and it's, it's and I'm of course at home with my with my young son and I'm enjoying the time with him very much. Um, but it's important and this this 90 minutes for me it's uh, very effective because I know exactly what I need you know because I have the uh, I have the experience. And I know exactly which kind of exercises do I need to keep a certain level. So these 90 minutes of practice is probably for other ones maybe five times per day, uh, five times per week, you know, like one hour practice. Uh, and is anything you don't like during training? This is also an, an quite interesting thing. Uh, what um, you what you actually actually it's important that uh, training should be uh, like that that you always have to work on something because if you have to focus if you have to concentrate if you work on something then you have uh, then you enjoy also table tennis because it's something new or you can improve you know it's it's uh, table tennis shouldn't be like 50 minutes Falkenberg you know this shouldn't be table tennis of course it's it's a part of table tennis, but um, actually you you can you you can minimize this this part and make it a little bit uh, more motivation like the practice.